Dr. Mukwege. When I was eight years old, I decided I would be a physician to help children. But after medical school, I returned back to Congo and I discovered something I was still women dying, giving birth. So I started to think how we can solve this problem. I decided to create a center where women can get safe maternity and safe obstetrical care in Bukavu. But the first patient I treat, she didn't come from pregnancy or to come uh, to give birth. She came because she was raped with extreme violence. So it was the first time for me to see these horrible things. What is happening here? I was not really expecting to do this kind of, of work. And each year it was just going up. Why is this? And at the end, we understand that really rape was used as a weapon of war to displace people from their own village. When I started, I was just treating women on the medical side. But I discovered that it was not enough because when they are completely destroyed mentally, they could not go back home and restart a new life. So we have four pillars. The first pillar is a medical pillar to treat the infections or to do a surgery. The second pillar is a psychological support trying to rebuild the mind. The, the third pillar is a socioeconomic uh, support. And the last is a legal support. If I was not optimistic, I, I would just give up. I realized that the operating room was not a solution. There, I was just taking care of consequences of rape. And uh, I started to ask myself, why is this and how we can fight against the root causes of rape and show the world what is going on? We think that if their voice can be heard, the world has to take responsibility about uh, what is happening to women. We have the responsibility to draw the line and never accept that women can be destroyed in the way that is happening today. We can change head by love. very bad condition, destroyed physically and psychologically. And there is not really a reaction to stop this kind of destruction. It's sad to say because when you are destroying women, it's to destroy all the nation, it's to destroy the community. Nikajuliza <laughs> Sadamu Guanapita, 
Ndiwa kandita kukitali ya pansi. Kulikia ni pima, waka kutana kuwele waka kuniachia magonjo. Lakini, hile tu damu. Waka niachia na waka acha mimba. Mungu na maisha angu ya kishu. Na minu naona kabisa maisha angu ya kishu takuwa mzuri. Juhu kwa saa, laana isha kuwa baraka. Takuwa baraka kwa mkwa. Kwe tulipaka kwe tu. Baba kilema, yeye ni baba yangu. Mama washo kufunza, yeye ni mama yangu. Baba masikini, yeye ni baba yangu. Mama, ma, ma, mama ni mama yangu. Kwetu kwa shiponjia, kwa nipaka kwetu, kwa shiponjia.